Yeah, Jacqueline, it really did come just in time. You know, a lot of people have really loved the outdoor dining option and all the creative seating that restaurants have come up with, like here along Chestnut Street. But with those storms moving in, it's nice to have more indoor options. As I took down our plexiglass, I uh, added the uh, extra chairs to the bar. Inside Amada, the bar and the restaurant ready to serve more people, and just in time with a rainy night on tap. I was on the phone giving calls to our guests and making sure that they were aware that they won't be able to sit outside today, but we have that space to welcome them inside. And what was their reaction? It, pretty much uniformly excitement. The city lifted capacity restrictions this week that had limited indoor dining throughout the city. Tonight, restaurants getting a chance to use that newly reclaimed indoor space, with storms threatening to wash away the evening's outdoor dining option. Joseph Quintella is service director for restaurants at Garces Group. A rainy day could, you know, as much as have the volume and the revenue the restaurant was bringing in uh, up until really this week. Just down the block, Rotten Ralphs with outdoor tables set up while the sun was still out today. During the pandemic, outdoor seating has been the rage around the city, but it has a drawback. 100% weather dependent. If it was if it was rainy, if it was snowy, if it was cold, like we were done. So today, when you saw what the weather was going to be like tonight, what were you thinking? Um, I was thinking that I opened my upstairs bar. That gives patrons another option they didn't have before. I'm going to man the upstairs bar tonight, seats and tables, and some bar seating up there. When's the last time you used that? <laughs> um, probably like about two years ago. Almost two years, yeah. Yeah, throughout the pandemic, outdoor dining in the city expanded into parking lots and onto streets. And I checked with the city to see what happens now, now that the restrictions have been listed. Do these things stay? And they tell me that program is going to stay in place through the end of the year. And they are having conversations with folks in the restaurant community about what things in the future may be scaled back and what may stick around for the longer term. Live in Old City, I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News. All great information, Lauren. Thank you.